Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good wherever you are. JP here at Websites for Beginners. We take a look at Stackable, and something not unfamiliar to you is that of separators or block dividers or section dividers. They all have different names, but you're going to see in a jiffy what they do. You need for this, though, Stackable Premium, and you can learn more about that by following the link in the description below. Here I've got this block and what I want to do is add a few separators. What makes Stackable a little bit different is that they give you three layers deep of layers of separators that you can add to the block. Select the block and then over here in the inspector, go to the block area and then you will see you can activate the top separator as well as the bottom separator. These two are exactly the same apart from the fact that one goes at the top and the other one goes at the Bottom, that's correct, Sally. Open the panel for top separator and you can see these are the usual suspects that you would expect to see when working with separators. Very limited, I wish it could be 10 times more, not just double, but there are a few and they are applied very nicely, especially with the three layers deep function. If you click on wave one, nothing happens. In stackable, whenever you see a toggle, it doesn't matter what you do over here, you still need to toggle it on or off. Now, this may not tickle your fancy, but the benefit to this is that you can make all the settings down here and then you don't have to go and turn them off one by one. You can just simply flick this on or off. And as I switch it on, you can see our border is applied, or rather the separator is applied at the top. And we can go through these various ones and let's stick here with, oh, let's go for wave four, which is a little bit more funky. Then you have your colors for that. And then down here, let's put it on this one. You have your height and also responsiveness for height. So in case you need to go into your tablet, you have separate control over that. And this well for your mobile device. Put it back on desktop. Width stretches it. And then you can add a shadow or an outline. In this case, it's not going to be that easy to see. And what you can do then is click on the cog to bring up the shadow settings. And then if I put it on something a little bit more white and I increase my opacity, you're going to see the shadow. Naturally, you want to put it on something dark to give it that overlay effect and enhance that really cool feature. Not many separators in page builders have this function. And I think it really helps to increase that separation effect with this shadow. I'll almost use it all the time in this event. More usual suspects is the invert design that flips it vertically. And this one flips it horizontally, strange, and then bring to front. Here is where Stackable brings in that extra separation by bringing in a layer two and a layer three. All I'm going to do is switch them on and you can see what happens. Right, a little bit more there. Separate the layer three. Let's only work with separator layer two. Click on the pencil for edit, increase the layer height, and you can see it more pronounced now. You can also do the stretching thing again and flip it horizontally. And here you have control over the opacity. You can also see much better now that shadow that we had applied to the first one. I do not see a shadow function though for the second and third separators. But strangely enough, here we have opacity. If I click back to the main separator, the top separator, you're not going to see any function for opacity. Very strange indeed, because if I had an image here, Adding a separator over it, giving it a little bit of transparency would be so awesome. So stackable developers, that's my request for you. Let's bring in one more level of separation and that is separator level three. Click on the plus and let's give this one a different color. Increase the layer height. And then you can play again around with the layer width. Let's flip it horizontally. And again, you have control over the opacity. And whilst I'm increasing the opacity here, I realize that the shadow effect is actually applied to separator layer two and three. So what we see down here for the shadow effect applies to all of them. 
Shadow Opacity. Yep, putting it on white, you can clearly see how it follows the contour of the various separators. You can test drive Stackable for Gutenberg for free with their free plugin. It's going to have some limited features, but in terms of building out an entire website, just look at our video on the Petsy starter site from Bloxy and Stackable to see what you can do with the free version. And then when you need that extra bit of power, oomph and bling, you go for the premium version. From me, JP, have a great day. Stay safe.